Hello everyone. Um, this talk is basically about or it is a discussion about um, careers, how to choose careers. It is, it is all highly subjective. Different people would want different things and um, here what we will discuss is mostly about uh, we will I will try to uh, put forward my experiences or thought processes as I was making a choice not everything is uh, uh, the way uh, plan uh, the way uh, you would expect to and sometimes some things extra something some extra things need to be done to be where you want to be so I welcome you to this small discussion and let's see uh, I, let's hope that we will all get some perspective on how to uh, look at career path. So the first thing I would want to uh, you to understand before we get in is that this is only a playground and to tell you how many things are available and because we don't know only you are the best judge of your situation your psyche and everything else and therefore you will be the best judge what you want to do but if everything is good and if there are no constraints what you can pursue and how you can decide on that that is the goal of this uh, whole exercise so first thing why we are what we are seeking in life is to be happy we want to be happy and that's the goal we want to lead a happy and safe life and for that we would want uh, some essential things first thing is family we would always need someone to rely on and that gives us a sense of security in times of uh, in for general being or also uh, general well-being and also sometimes during um, uh, times of stress and family and friends they make a good uh, uh, support for those things not the, not that the family members cannot share our interests but that is where friends usually come about we make friends based on our interests we choose friends and those are of our mindset um, and same similar psychology and then we have some things to play and share and do things together and that's why friends are the best some of the best uh, influences in our in the world and that's why we have to choose friends based on what we want to become and um, well and irrespective of that um, one thing that determines the way we are treated in this society is highly dependent on job what kind of job we are doing I hope you understand that uh, the respect is everything we will see it in the next one job gives us a standing within the hierarchy, social hierarchy and that will allow us to feel better about ourselves and that's why job is everything and before what I want to one of the things that I have to remind uh, each of you and myself is that happiness to be happy it's all about how you train yourselves happiness is not is by is uh, is by choice not chance if you got something and you're happy and if you lose something and you're unhappy then you put your happiness into some that thing yes I understand how material we are all and but still you should have the basic composure of yourselves where you determine your happiness by you being you and that's one of the skills that we all should um, improve that is an important intrapersonal skill that one has to develop that gives you a lot of composure in life and lot of stability and that will attract many other things to you uh, the things that you want so what I'm trying to again say is we desperately running behind something is different we sitting where we are and doing what is required with lot more confidence and happiness is something else 
the second is the path that I want you to take. Be happy where you are and try to keep working happily and all the things will fall in place and you'll be happy forever in your life. So let's get on. So the jobs, why job is important is we should admit that the most important thing that we want is money. Money is a form, form of respect. Money is a form of luxury. Money is a form of security. Money is many, many things. There is one single most uh, invention probably man has made that has influenced everything. Good things, bad things, that doesn't matter. So how much you have, how much you earn is different from how much you inherited from your parents. Okay, whatever I'm going to speak is about what about me, not what I inherited from my parents, not the biology, not the genes. I'm talking about the skills, the value that I have and how I use that to make myself visible and noticed in the society. Um, so job gives us money. That's the first important thing. Then it gives us uh, respect based on the type of work and not only the type of work, the level of work that we are doing also determines the respect that we get. And it also gives us something interesting to do. You have 24 hours a day, take out 12 hours uh, for something. The rest of the 12 hours, if we aren't doing anything, for a, on a prolonged time, we are going to become sad. Don't find purpose in what we are doing. We would become unhealthy physically and mentally. So we need something, something to do. And there are two things you can do. Some things that you don't like and some things that you like. When you do some things you don't like, it might be bad for the uh, mental health. But if you can do it uh, um, for your the things that you like then you are actually more happier but again these are subject to things you can uh, have it so there is a saying like um, it is something like do what you like or like what you do and either of them is a path to the happiness um, different psyches different personalities different choices so I'm not going to say what you want to do if uh, I would I wouldn't mind uh, uh, liking what I have to do have to do given a choice that's a different thing if I don't have a choice I should start liking what I do because it pays me because it gives me something to do and find a value in life so um, one important aspect that one has to keep in mind is are we doing there are two strategies of how you are doing why you are doing things survival or excellence just doing it for survival is trying to not your one one is dispassionate about what the job is and the other one is excellence where you are trying to keep uh, raise each day and raise the standards of your own and of your peers and try to grow and that is reaching an excellence level so one thing i would uh, say if you if there is a career and you are not liking it then there is another way of how you do it that's with arts some people complement or you can say it a supplement the careers with arts that is they do a job because they need to do it because they are capable of it even if, if they didn't find it passionate they would also pursue a hobby with arts where they are creative uh, something like uh, painting singing dancing arts is a good uh, way of how you can uh, relive your passions each day and that's what makes uh, makes the job as well as uh, happy as well as the arts uh, it the the enthusiasm and energy that you derive from your supplementary um, arts or any other things that can pour into your job and drive the job very well and that's a good way of seeing um, life so right now uh, we are all students and uh, uh, as a student we have 
two important jobs one is to gain knowledge and the other one is to have as much fun as possible during this time this is your prime time prime time is somewhere you can talk it about some 27 17 to 27 or say 30 years what you do in this life is going to set the tone you lived a good life you had many you made a lot of memories you pursued a lot of things you accomplished a lot of um, uh, lot of targets that you set for and the the momentum that you generate within this age is going to make your life uh, bring you fulfillment into the life and that is how uh, we have to see it so this part of the age the prime time is the time when you're going to have maximum fun or the most quality quality fun and it is also the same time when you have to accomplish more work more grow more and uh, um, skill up yourselves that means you have to learn lots of skills and that will bring in uh, many more uh, happy things to you so there are different types of jobs best again um, it depends on your psychology and every psychology is uh, most psychology if not all are amenable you can change them a little bit adjust to different things however is your psychology your psyche or so you should be adaptable that is what will allow you to survive through time so to be adaptable you should have versatility you have multiple skills as you see in this um, in this time of uh, covid pandemic and so on what you will notice is that the the people of the the employee of the future will be a uh, should have diverse skills should be able to fill into the shoes of others and therefore it is important that you we all learn these uh, learn the skills and diverse skills that you would want but as i said we are all we are all unique people we all have our specific interests we we while as while it is important to gain diverse skills it's also important to pursue what you like because your core happiness is in that so to describe different types of uh, jobs some of them are physical manual where you are supposed to go into that place and do things by your hands and some people like to work with uh, big things some people are all right to work with small things some people work and see what they're doing some people can't see what they're doing but things are happening say for example if i'm doing molecular biology i'm going to I take a dna add some restriction enzymes i'm doing things but i can't see what is happening in there say if you're doing mechanical engineering or some other things you can see what you're doing often so it all depends on your psyche but this is loose in the sense that you can have different uh, variety of skills and that is about physical physical work always gives happiness in general that's plain and straightforward the more the body works the more the brain is happier and that gives us uh, that makes us happy and the second part is mental work in the sense where you're supposed to use more of your brain than your body something like computer science bioinformatics um, those that are related to programming data management and so on it is like playing chess you don't know you don't use your body as much but your brain is fully on it depends on the type of person you are uh, which you would like whether it's mental or physical and then there are two different categories of works some of them are repetitive some of them are non repetitive repetitive in the sense that if i am a if i am an employee in a bank or so cashier i might have to keep doing the same work multiple times over and over of course you are dealing with different people and that's not an easy job either say i think the job toughest job is 
uh, a city bus conductor in the busiest of the cities in the in in India because he has to deal with so many different people wriggle through the people to move and ensure that everybody got uh, takes a ticket well so and there are uh, those kinds of jobs are repeated where you're performing the same action you technically didn't don't have to think about uh, after a level you don't think about improvising or there is there is very little scope for changing the way things work the other ones are uh, non repetitive in the sense that um, each day you are each day or each year probably you will be dealing with a different problem and that is where things keep changing much more uh, drastically your goals change and that is what you have to uh, decide say for example uh, why i kept this too is something like this repetitive will not cause will, is much more predictable you know what the action that you have to perform think of dhoni um, irrespective of where the ball comes from all his job to do is to hit the wickets to the hit with the stumps uh, hit the stumps so there is a predetermined work not the not that it is any less uh, but there the you receive and then you do one action that that is that makes it little more predictable and non repetitive is where you don't know you can't sometimes see what is going to happen and it creates a lot of uncertainty and um, you, one needs to be trained to deal with uncertainty therefore you have to think about what you would like and where you find your com um, comfort there is nothing good or bad about any of the things that i'm saying these are the things that are available you one has to fit into um, any place or type of job that one can or one wants to eventually the person who is going there should be happy should work with uh, much more passion and you and the, that is why i'm saying all these things so you can choose anything there is nothing wrong in what you choose but choose wisely and uh, have some versatile skills and there is another category of how you can see one is um, interactive and the other one is non interactive interactive is to deal with other people say a college a, a teacher or a lecturer they have to deal with people all the time different types of people and um, sometimes a teacher will deal, deal with the same people for the whole semester or so whereas a bank uh, a bank cashier or bank teller or a bus conductor may be different dealing with different types of people on all the days both of them are interactive in to deal with to be connected with people and then to interact with them some people um, are much more social they would like interactive work some people are not so uh, interactive and they would like to do work by themselves and then post it to them and let the others deal and get back and then they send and then keep i hope you got the point whether you want to talk to people deal with people or not and uh, again that is how you can determine why you want uh, what you want um most people would find this happy the interactive uh, jobs happy at the same time annoying as well it depends on the type of people uh, one interacts uh, the interact non interactive jobs are usually boring in the sense that unless you are happy by yourselves where you can find happiness by yourselves within yourselves um, you shouldn't opt for non interactive because it's not good for the psyche or your psychology uh, some form of socializing is always important to uh, uh to feel that we belong to a social structure and then we we the some belongingness we should we should have and some people if they are uh if they have got into a non interactive job they do have active form of uh, socializing so that they will always be able to find uh, uh, people to hang around 
uh, and then party a little bit and so on to feel that social social connect with the society so um, this brings to something uh, that I wanted to tell because we are in uh, education and research I would want you to also uh, give it a thought one aspect that you have to remember is that everybody each and everyone is suited for research there is nobody big there is nobody smart there is nobody uh, uh, super about it all can fit into this all you need is some form of uh, passion and some form of uh, guts to take upon a challenge because research is mostly non-interactive uh, of course you will have some colleagues and a small team uh, to work with uh, but but it is also a, a non repetitive in the sense that each day you might have a problem you in research we do we work on something we fail we work we try to troubleshoot that means you're dealing with uncertainty a lot and that gives um, happiness each time we we try to we we troubleshoot successfully it gives us happiness and pride and that's what gives uh, expands the way we think and our confidence about troubleshooting so and also that uh, research is about generating applying knowledge and trying to generate more knowledge which is useful to the society immediately at a, or at a later time Research, research is not about running the show at this time. It is trying to make bring about more resources, more tools, techniques, technologies to run the show better. That is research. And in this endeavor, we will try to uh, generate more knowledge. That is the whole goal of uh, research. And you have to see it as one more thing that it is a it is philosophy it is a way of life because you're trying to find truth what is the truth you're trying to generate more ideas what else can be done how you can do things and so on I hope I have given you uh, enough things to think about uh, research please remember that anybody can do re anybody can research it's just you just have to be uh, take up say it, pat yourselves uh, back up yourselves back yourselves and then move forward there is nothing to lose in that there is nothing to fear to start with so the career path this should be how you would uh, what you want to do i will try to draw some things and see if i can if i make any sense to you so here is uh, say for example sorry uh, here is your level of education and here you are this is the time you can think of one second why is this going yes it's a crooked line but yeah say this is time on years for example and your level of uh, education so you started out in your school and then your uh, college and then you came to Shastra now you are trying to do your BTEC. BTEC takes this time. And now I think you might have in your early college or so, you might have written uh, sorry, uh, JE, mains and so on. You wanted to probably go to IITs or some other colleges uh, or you, you, uh, you came to Shastra by choice and that's a good thing. Now you are here and where you want to do you're going to finish your first second third and fourth years here and now you will reach a place uh, point where there are three different things that you can choose or at least two um, one is higher education this is your btech and you need to go to uh, ms or mtech it could be in india or abroad so again you will have two years of intense study where you will have so have to do research and how to get from here till here is your immediate question most students have so if you are planning for ms that is study abroad 
you might have to do write exams like GRE, uh, TOEFL, IELTS, and so on. If you want to uh, go for MTech within India or MS or integrated PhD, you have two possibilities uh, to write or entrance examinations that is GATE and then you also have uh, CSIR, UGC, uh, NET and some other institutes also have their own uh, entrance examinations like J, BL, BLS and so on. So that will give you the uh, the step to your next stage the ticket to the next stage will come with this ms has its own advantages and disadvantages mtech has its own advantages and disadvantages if you are planning to do um, ms in the us usa um, it is there are more colleges and uh, i don't know about the current situation because of this covid trump and so on the visa rules and so on but otherwise usa is a good choice too provided you have good enough money or your academic your academic records are very good so it may cost somewhere between i think uh, between 15 to 40 lakhs uh, lakh rupees to finish the ms program it depends on the scholarships that you're getting and your scholarships and uh, teaching assistantships again depend on your track records and so on but if your if your if the money is good if your financial stability is fine you should you can try to take that in other ways you can try uh, germany and other stay other countries where education is free and there you can try and i think you need to write ilts for it and um, you can get into places in good high quality uh, institutes where uh, the education is free all you have to bear the expenditure of your own living and so on and some i think it is also one and a half years um, us typical uh, sorry ms is typically two years and uh, other than that there are in uk there is little bit less in one year uh, programs are also there i think i'm not too sure at this time but that is about going abroad and studying you have to remember that going abroad is always important and uh, good for your um, uh, growth in internally uh, as well as exposure externally it gives you a confidence to be able to survive in a different location different culture from the different culture you will also learn a lot of things that are important for our own growth we should um, go to grow that is how we can think of it but if your finances are not good or if your parents are not allowing you to go that is typically a curse that we have sometimes um, then you can choose to do mtech in india and first of all we'll come to iits uh, there are also other research institutes like uh, ncbs and uh, many other institutes and universities do up, uh, give programs based on your uh, f for opening for mtech including shastra as well um, so the, there is you have to write gate exam each branch has its own exam and you should try to write it up uh, right and uh, get a good percentile based on which you will get uh, uh, you will get the uh, placement you'll get admitted into some of the premier research institutes of India the other way is also to write CSCR UGC net why we are having I compete is to allow you to go through these examinations so that we can facilitate an average student to raise the average student into a competent student on a national scale national level so CSIR UGC if you get you will be given a junior research fellowship which can be used to pursue either MTech or PhD so as I said from BTech you can also go to um, you can also go to directly to PhD 
okay this is where PhD is you can directly pursue PhD that is basically called as integrated PhD it includes a year or two of MS plus and followed by PhD uh, curriculum whatever it is so this also uh, UG, CSAR UGC sometimes using that you can go into through CSAR UGC you can directly get into PhD sometimes in some cases people join as MS and then upgrade it to PhD it depends on the Institute and your progress your the recommendations and so on so after PhD uh, sorry uh, as we are discussing after M tech people then go to PhD again PhD you can do it uh, in India or abroad in India you would have to take up this um, you, you, would, you will have to take up or qualify an exam like this to get a fellowship and that fellowship you can use it used to uh, fund your research fund your work for about five years or so the first two years is counted as uh, junior research fellowship and based on the progress you will be upgraded to senior research fellowship uh, it is usually for about five years and if you finish it you will you will be able to you will get uh, a PhD uh, you will be able to fill, uh, finish your PhD during that time so then uh, what else to do after PhD is a question again if you want to do PhD abroad you you will you will need to have good academic record uh, you'll have to have good GRE score and sometimes if you have a research paper a research article on your name that says that you you are experienced in the process of research and then then your uh, the probability that you will get a PhD position is very high so i am trying to going I, I will summarize what one needs to do while during btech to go on this path where you want to go into ms and phd i will quickly summarize what needs to be achieved during this time for things that that you would require in the future if you are planning to either uh, if you are planning for higher education but by the way there is also one more thing that um, I will touch upon some people will choose to take up a job and typically the more, more often the jobs are with uh, uh, software jobs and some people do get into core jobs and so on my suggestion in general is that because you are young and because you have lot of energy and um, if the finances is not a problem at your home it's always good to take up higher education as we sit now BTEC has become a very normal thing for everybody everybody has a bachelor's degree now we need to raise a little more and say that I have uh, we should we have PhD from a, a reputed Institute the best of course if, if you have to go by me I will say that um, you everybody has to go through PhD because it gives us a way of uh, it is a way of living we will know how to it is philosophy we will know how to seek truth we will know how to deal with uncertain conditions uh, we will also be we are much more confident and in a way PhD is the end of formal education education never ends as a degree I think PhD is a formal uh, end of education so my suggestion would be that everybody has to do PhD but this path is not always favorable to every type of uh, psychology so but at least I would hope um, that uh, most of you will get in uh, will do a PG postgraduate is important uh, to have that's the kind of minimum uh, qualification people have nowadays so you can choose a job certainly some people take uh, want to do a job for two years um, and then get back to MS um, unless there is a financial issue that you one has to support the family and so on 
I wouldn't suggest that but I might not be right on that you are in the situation you can choose what is good for you and what is not and I hope um, I have clarified enough you are always welcome to post your questions on the stream uh, about this and then we will all um, uh, discuss on it and grow together please feel free this is important what I want to end with this is while you are at Shastra and while you are pursuing your BTEC or MS or any of these things I want you to pay attention to what your path is where you want to be you can try all the possibilities that is the best uh, for best way because they're all related as well and some people make a choice like this I want to study abroad so I won't write CSAR I don't think that makes sense you have to write CSCR, you have to write GATE, make your stance, say that this is what I am capable of, prove your uh, capacity here and then do whatever you want, go abroad and study there, there is nothing wrong in that. But don't avoid any kind of competition. The whole theme of this, um, this, uh, this Google Classroom is to compete. Compete with others, compete with the national uh, at the national level or global level, and compete at least with your own self. And we will we keep need to keep competing. So during BTEC, please read your core subjects very well, and try to know gain as much knowledge. Try to read a little bit every day. In this Google Classroom, we are trying to discuss everything from fundamentals. So it should be a a review of whatever you learned and if you miss something you can always relearn it now and feel free to post questions we can have discussion I think other faculty members will also join in and will give their um, expert advice on this you can also individually contact uh, the faculty that you feel most comfortable with and try to discuss with them as well thank you very much I am sure that uh, everybody is capable of doing everything it only what determines success is the motivation and the doing plan less work more I think that works uh, that uh, that is much more uh, helpful in in uh, for career thank you very much uh, have lots of fun bye bye